Hello there, and welcome to my gracious room. <laughs> um, I'm in the middle of just getting ready for the day, outfit of the day, so super cute. I have been listening to Misha Meisky's Bach Cello Suite 3, which is my favorite, favorite version of Bach Cello Suite 3. I really actually just love Misha Meisky's cello suites in general, but um, the other day I somehow found a two-year-old recording now of an updated version of his Bach Cello Suite 3. So not only do I have one amazing version that I love from like 20 years ago or however many years ago, there's an updated one of him now, which by the way is so awesome that there's this original version of him and then there's this like latest version of him 20 years later with all the life experience and all the stuff and everything and I just I, there's like birds in the background like chirping because he recorded I guess in his music room or he recorded it at home but anyway I'm I'm bothering you because I wanted to share this thought with you if you are also a musician you're a music teacher you love music and whatever um the thought occurred to me why why would I be putting my version out into the world because I'm going to do a recital in um, August and then in September and then in October at my old university. And I'm just thinking, well, like, isn't it a little bit, you know, why would you bother? <laughs> like, why would you bother to put out a recording or why would you bother to do a, re a recital when so many other people can say it better than you and can do it better than you and you look up to the way that they play and all sorts of things? Um, why would you even bother? And the thought replied, because I have something to say. I actually have something to say. And um, it will be said, it will pale in comparison the way that I say it, but I actually do have something to say. And it just really struck me um, that that's why I would do a recording or that's why I would do a recital is because I actually have something to say and I love these pieces that I'm working on and yes, they are not going to be as good as someone else could play them. I have so many idols in music that I look up to, but why can't I? you know, say my two cents as well. It's just, it's worth just as, maybe not just as much, but it, it has, it has some merit because it has something behind it that's meaningful. It has my, my two cents basically. So anyway, I feel like this is coming across in like an egotistical way, but I just wanted to, cause I know, I know that a lot of us musicians sometimes can wonder, well, why would I even bother when so many other people can just play so much better than than me and it's just you know do you just ask yourself well do you have something to say what are you saying in your music what is it, what is it about for you and just have fun just have fun with it I was playing I was practicing performing for my friend the other day and her daughter and it was so fun to have her little daughter who's like two years old or maybe one years old forget I'm a terrible um, aunt. <laughs> um, but anyway, her little daughter playing in the background while I'm like, you know, seriously playing the, the Bach cello suites because they're so important and so serious and everything. And she was just like, you know, yay in the background. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm being too serious. I'm being way too serious. So it was fun for me to, to like look at her and then play for her and for us to like play back and forth while I was playing the Bach and she was just having fun. And it was like so much better to have that lightheartedness that, you know, it just, I've been talking a lot about playing from the heart. And um, in fact, this is an interesting segue. I did not know that this would happen. I just wanted to share this thought. But um, in August, I'm gonna invite my psychic teacher. I've been taking psychic classes for the last two months. Some of you are gonna now, you know, end the video. But um, we all have abilities that we just don't use every day. For example, we're mostly in our thinking space most of the day, but um, we also are quite capable of our feeling space. We can feel a sense of joy when looking at something. We can feel a sense of peace and relaxation um, by reading a book or just having a moment of peace or seeing something that makes us happy or having a clean house or whatever it is like we can watch a cute little animal video and it makes us feel so much better right away 
we have this feeling space that we have wisdom and knowledge from as well and many other you know areas in our body that we just don't necessarily think about but you know in your stomach you can feel nervous you can feel anger you can feel all sorts of things so um anyway my psychic development teacher robert hickman he's gonna come work with the studio for a class in august which you are welcome to join if you want to join it it's only 25 dollars um, and he's going to talk to us about channeling because being an artist and being a musician, we kind of get into this flow state, into this almost channeling state. Um, and it's going to be really interesting. It's going to kind of tie into with the heart chakras and chakras and whatnot. So it's going to be the first of many um, group classes with him, but he'll be with us Thursday, 830 August 11th, 2022, and I'm hoping that he can come work with us frequently. So if you're watching this in the future, we might still have, you know, get togethers with him and also our Alexander Technique and all sorts of fun people that are coming into our lives and into the studio's lives to help shed wisdom and knowledge to us um, and just make fun musical connections. So anyway, I'm gonna go practice now. I'm finally ready for the day. <laughs> I thank you for watching and listening to this and maybe if you're a musician just remember to ask yourself the question do you have something to say what are you saying and are you thinking about what you're doing or are you feeling what you're doing that's an interesting thing to contemplate too because we kind of need both but at some point we already know what it is that we're doing and how to do it and we can tap more into the feeling of what it is that we're doing that's that's gonna be fun anyways you guys, lots of love and thanks again. I hope you have a fabulous day and don't forget that you are a magical and fabulous earthling that's going around a star and is super fabulous. <laughs>